I've shared with you for a while uh, over the past couple of years about some of the desk pens that I've had. I've got some no-name brands, I've got some Estabrooks, I've got Schaefer's, Waterman's, um, and one of my favorites so far has been one that I've already shared with you, which is a uh, Blue and Olive Ripple Waterman, and it is a, a Waterman 67. It's got that number 7 beautiful nib on it. Um, and this sits here on my desk. Well, I saw another Waterman that I wanted to add to that, and that's this one right here. Um, this is another old Waterman, and it is a Waterman 100-year pen, which you rarely see in a desk set. Um, I did not have the holder that came with it. It was just this particular pen, and that was it. I've got some better pictures of it that I will show you um, where you can see this nice, good, crisp imprint that was on it. The nib does say 100 year pen on it. And it's got this beautiful uh, triple band here, a wide band uh, surrounded by two uh, narrow gold bands on it. And you've got here at the tip section um, where you've got the, the little groove there. And yes, this back tip, true to Waterman form, does unscrew for storage so it doesn't have to be quite that long if you want to be able to store it but I'm going to have it on my desk as a matter of fact I've got an old Waterman um, that old Waterman pen sitting in an old Schaefer uh, pen desk set um, I've got several desk sets here in my collection, and this particular one that I've got that I'm showing you um, is one that had two Schaefer's in it, and I just, when I replaced them with something that I like better, I went ahead and just uh, these nice little uh, trumpets now hold Waterman's instead of Schaefer's, and the nameplate there is one that used to be somebody else's name when I got it, so I just popped off the old ordered myself a new nameplate, put it on there. So I've got this nice, gorgeous uh, one to complement my other. So I've got the, the one that's in a, uh, a hard rubber, and then I've got this one, uh, which is more of a, uh, or a plastic, or a, um, it's more of a resin material. I do already have a, a beautiful, I'd, I'd say I call it beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful to me. Uh, but an old Waterman 100-year pen. It's not the first-year editions. There are some absolutely gorgeous ones out there that are in a like a jade clear or a ruby clear color. They are absolutely stunning. Um, and the price tags on those were at the point where I didn't pull the trigger on them because I didn't want to spend more than a mortgage payment at the time. And uh, they are absolutely beautiful. And my sources had them. Uh, I just never jumped at them, and when I d did decide to go see if they were still available, nope, they're already sold. So um, this obviously is the pocket version or the, the the one that you would lay on a desk or carry with you. Obviously, this is one that does not have uh, a cap to it that you would absolutely have to have in a desk set, which I have. And these nice little flutes or trumpets that they sit in uh, keep the nibs nice and moist. So. Let's go ahead and ink this baby up and let's see how she writes. I have said it many times on this channel, but I love black and gold because it's just plain elegant and beautiful. Simple yet elegant. Now this little section here um, looks a little uh, worse for the wear here, but um, let's see how it does. Um, and this, um, this nib was a little tarnished and I tried to polish it up just a little bit. The pen did have a new ink sac uh, that was placed in it, so it wasn't completely restored, but it was restored enough supposedly to bring it back to life. This is the first inking I did with it. Quite honestly, I put in Noodler's Bad Black Moccasin into it. I've had good luck with this ink. Even in vintage pens, I know some people would squawk, oh, don't use Noodler's. I've had no problem with Noodler's inks in any of my um, vintage pens. And I wanted black because I put uh, Waterman's um, Serenity Blue in that blue and olive ripple. I wanted to have a black pen as well. So let's take a look. Waterman's 100 year desk pen. Desk. Pen. 
it actually has a good amount of flex to this nib. As I'm writing with it, I could feel a little bit of the bounce and spring that went along with it. It is not the smoothest nib in the world, but what I did too when I looked first got it, one of the first things I do is inspect it. And I found that uh, it needed just a little bit of uh, tine alignment, so I went ahead and did that. And I may yet smooth it out still just a little bit, but it is acceptable. Uh, it is definitely within the acceptable range. I always have a desk pen here on my desk. As a matter of fact, this this blue and olive ripple one I had to re-ink just a couple of days ago because I was writing and oop, ran right out of ink. Uh, so now I'm going to have two desk pens, one in blue, that writes blue, one that writes black. So like I said, I put into it some noodlers, bad, black, moccasin. You're seeing it as I am for the very first time because I just inked it for the very first time off camera um, just after I did the first part of the video and this is the first time I'm putting nib to paper so you're seeing it as I am seeing it. I always get excited about vintage pens. I mean it's it's in physically in really good shape. Um, it's got a few scuffs on it uh, but still it's in good shape. This um, this lever did come back down and snap right into place perfectly into the lever box assembly. Um, so that was good. Imprint's really good. Uh, the, the band is still in really good shape. You know, a few scuffs here or there. But in general, I am actually happy with it. It writes a fairly fine line com comparatively. Um, you can get some good line variation with just a little bit of pressure, which I would expect out of a vintage pen, uh, but very nice. And I may yet smooth that out just a hair, um, but uh, anyway, so there you go. It is my brand new to me 100 year desk pen from Waterman's. I like both new pens, old pens, love Waterman's, love vintage. Thank <laughs> you.